Hello everybody, we are once again back here to do the random wheel. You guys have wanted this series to come back, so here it is. Let's go ahead and start with our first spin of the night. For the reserve, we're going to be hunting on New England Mountains. That is not what I was hoping for, but we got to do it. And now it's time to spin for four weapons to use. We got to make sure that it covers all of the classes. So once we get a weapon class, we'll remove ones that are similar. And let's see what number one is. We got the 454. That covers pretty much everything. So I guess that means that we can really just spin for three more. And it doesn't really matter too much what they are. Compound bow. That's another good option. What do we got here? The muzzle loader. And uh, number four is... The 10 gauge shotgun. Well, this could go terribly. I'm trying to sneak up on some uh, ducks over here and this moose just wants to make this more difficult. Let's hope that she does not go aggressive. If she does, we may have a problem here. And in fact, I think it's time that we take her down with the bow instead. That way we don't even have to worry about it. I just need her to face us. There we go. All right. So we dealt with her, which means these ducks should be still here. They, they shouldn't have spooked off from that, I don't think. We're going to look around, though, and make sure that they're still here. Also, guys, apologies if, uh, if I sound a little bit different at points during this video. You know, of course, the allergies had to flare up during a recording day. Go figure. So, unfortunately, the ducks did spook off. I don't know if it was the shot that did it or if they were already spooked off. But we did get this moose down with the bow, and that is a nice little hard shot right there as well. Love to see it. You know, it always blows my mind at the lack of anything interesting. Literally any time that I go out to hunt New England mountains. I just never find anything interesting on this map. I don't know if it's just because I didn't play it that much after it released, or... If it's just the fact that this map is empty, I don't know which one it is, but I never find anything notable in New England. Oh, there we go. A pheasant. Finally, something popping up that gives us a little bit of action. See, I've been trying to find, like, decent animals to take down, and they have just not shown themselves. So instead, we've had to opt for these uh, weird close encounters with that moose and now a pheasant. I'm hoping we can find at least a half-decent animal before the end of the day. Doesn't even have to be a diamond, you know? Just something half-decent would be very, uh, very acceptable at this point. You know, it's crazy that today's hunt has got to the point where I'm just taking down deer with bows at this point that aren't even anywhere near being a gold because we're finding literally nothing on this hunt. You know, the random wheel has had some really good times and some really bad times. This is one of the worst random wheels we've ever got. Not only do I have uh, weapons I normally don't use that often, like the bow and the uh, the muzzleloader and the shotgun. <laughs> Actually, every single one of these guns is something I don't use super often. I mean, the 454, sure, I'll use it from time to time, but not as much as most of the rifles. So this is just a weird one. Given these are all decent weapons, if you know how to use them, it's uh, just such an interesting combination when you put New England Mountains into the mix. <laughs> oh! No way! I'm actually kind of blown away we hit that. That is crazy. And now we did just hit the drink time for Fox, so we'll probably go for some of them. I think it's really our only chance at finding anything decent. Because, uh, sadly, New England Mountains just doesn't have a lot of species that I haven't already hunted a ton. I don't really want to target moose or whitetail or bear because I've hunted so many of them. And everything else has either no drink time or just really weird drink times. So, Fox might be our only bet here. Oh, got him. Honestly, at this point, I'm just happy to get a few ducks down because there doesn't really seem to be too much else going on. You know, I absolutely hate it every single time that we get a map like New England Mountains or Hirschfelden or Mississippi Acres for one of these uh, videos. We almost never run into anything. It ends up being like three hours of me running around and not seeing a single notable trophy, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do when the random wheel just screws you over. And today, that's kind of what we're doing. We're making the most out of this. Even if, uh, 
None of these are decent trophies. And at the end of the day, you guys are just here to see me hunt. It doesn't matter where we're hunting or what we're killing. We're still out on a nice hunt, and it's honestly been a... Though frustrating, kind of a relaxing experience as well, because we're just kind of roaming around and hunting whatever happens to cross our paths. Oh, hey! Finally! Finally, we've got ourselves a fox showing up. And I just realized we don't really have anything that I can shoot this with that doesn't require me getting literally right next to them. Ah, oh, man. Well, this fox is running right towards us. Let's just wait in a uh, tree. And we'll see if it'll run up next to us. Oh my gosh. I think we laid it flat. And we spooked off another one, and that actually is a male. Oh no. Well, it wasn't a vital hit, but we did get it. Now we gotta go chase down that male and see if it was anything notable. That right there is... Ooh. Okay. That's, uh... It's not where I was aiming, but it's where we hit, so... It is what it is. You know, the more I've got to thinking about it, the more I feel like New England is going from just a middle-of-the-road map for me, clear down to a bottom-of-the-barrel map, because the more I play it off and on from time to time, the more I realize there's barely anything to do on this map. Not only are most of the animals incredibly late to their zones, but aside from like the raccoons and the foxes, there's really not too much going on uh, New England mountains. There just really isn't much good hunting that isn't better in another area. And the map itself is incredibly brushy, unfortunately. And I'm sure there will be a couple people that are like, Scarecrow, just because it's a brushy map doesn't mean it's a bad map. Just because it's difficult doesn't mean that it's a bad map either. And sure, that may be the case, but that doesn't mean that I cannot have an opinion on whether or not I think it's a good map. And personally, for my style, the way that I enjoy playing the Hunter Call of the Wild, this map just does not appeal to me in the slightest the more I play it. It's just uh, not interesting to me. For me, it's not about the difficulty of the map, it's about the enjoyment I get out of it. And unfortunately, I can't think of the last time that I had an enjoyable New England mountains hunt. Unfortunately, it's just not for me. <sighs> it just gets better and better, like every second of the day. Well, since nothing notable wants to show up, let's just... Boop! Take that little guy down with the muzzle loader, And there's our little moose right there, 164.26. Double lung with the muzzle loader, And uh, sadly, this is probably the largest animal we've killed today. Or one of the largest animals we've killed today. This has been a sad day. And it was at about this time that my mic decided to just completely die out on me and act all weird. But it is what it is. It's an easy fix. It's just the software that I use with my microphone. But man, the timing for this has just been terrible. This is made for probably one of the most frustrating videos I think I've ever made. Between the lack of anything interesting showing up and the problems with my, uh, with my microphone and the game crashing repeatedly. This was just not a great experience. And honestly, at this point, I can't even salvage the rest of this footage because my mic sounded like this. Trying, I've been finding a decent bit of animals, it's just none of them are anything even close to being noteworthy. I don't think I've seen a single gold of anything. Luckily, we didn't really shoot anything notable after this point anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below just to make this pain a little bit less, and also leave a comment if you enjoy the random wheel, and let me know what you want me to do in the future for the random wheel. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Also, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and take one move to make future videos a lot more enjoyable. That is already looking ten times better.